So floating here, we have got my biggest ever koi delivery. Excited, like a kid at Christmas. Welcome back to Water Koi for another one. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you my cheap, uh, well I say cheap, as cheap as you can do in this hobby, uh, QT tank. <clears throat> And the extra bio chamber I've added to it that's also running an easy pod just for well, that time of year everyone's probably getting loads of fishing still toes are flying around all over the shop think of into shows etc I would always recommend QT in your fish because you'll get away with it until you don't and then when you don't you'll wish you'd always done it and actually it does give you another portal to be able to to look after the fish that have been in transport I had a tickly uh, big delivery that hadn't traveled too well some ammonia burns, uh, it's been a long, long, long travel for them, long journey. So I was able to get them in the cutine, get the salt in there, get the heat up, and just let them settle for two weeks. And then obviously I can see if any parasitic or problems or anything else develop in the meantime. So I'm going to show you, um, like I said, what I've done, what I've added to my QT system using an IKEA bin, which costs I think £18, not even that. Um, and a little bit of apple rod. So this is the QT system, IBC, of the filter. an easy pod so and an IKEA bin. There's about 20 kilos of alpha grog in the IKEA bin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I've put this together. It's really simple. I haven't even glued this so I can take it apart. This is how we've done it. First up, get the bin. So, put one tank in the in. Just Drilling out the hole for the other one, and I'll connect the other one in. And then I've got a simple water in, simple water out, and the middle will be filled with alpha Nice, cheap, and easy. I'll show you what it looks like in each other. Works well, but word of warning, don't do too much pipe until it's for empty of water. Seems obvious, but as normal, doesn't work like that. Anyway, alpha grog, the bag I had left going in there, and then we'll put it back together. So now I've just got to get that return. The plumb up to there is still lower than the height I've run the easy pod at, so it should feel fine. Just got to run a pipe up there. It's not going to look pretty. This isn't obviously ideal, but it is only my quarantine tank, and it's only for extra buyer um, at this moment in time. So just fiddling around with how I'm going to line it up. I can't. I wanted to spin it the other way so I could line up that and just do an elbow off it straight down, but I can't because the wood hits the glass and the top of the bin hits the glass, so it's no good. So yeah. Right, let me have a fiddle and work out how we're going to do this. There we go. Working. Now I am going to attempt to not glue these joints. That one there on the tap drips. As always drips, don't really care. Um, reason being that I want to be able to take this off and move it around and use it in other places when I can. So nothing is glued. So I'm going to leave it a couple of hours before I start messing about with this and getting it ready for the rest of the fish. Um, and to make sure everything works as planned. But I've got the alpha rod in there as well, but yeah, job's a good one. Pleased with that. Right, so now you've seen where the quarantine fish are going. I've got the quarantine set up. I'm just going to run through a little bit of what I do as part of my quarantine procedure. Obviously, this is from obvious point of view. Small amount of fish coming in. Just want to make sure I don't trigger anything nasty in the pond. Obviously, when you've got your own setups, you may have stuff in there already. But half the time, you end up triggering. So this is only half the battle. Um, because obviously adding new fish is always a stress to your existing fish as well as the new ones so but what I'm going to do is so I always put 0.3% salt in salinity I will tie up to 0.6 if I think necessary like these ones particularly were quite stressed fins were quite burnt um, so you've got that level as well after a couple of days uh, once they've settled down I'm happy with their feeding or everything's fine I will then put in an Alperex treatment just as a precaution just to make sure anything that is manifesting isn't given a chance to get a foothold. Probably overkill, not seeing anything, not scraping anything, you don't need to do it, but I just like to do it for peace of mind because I have got some nice fish now that I don't want to risk in the future, so that's what I do. So yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> here is the QT system that you've seen. I've shown you the fish that went in here originally when I set this up, it worked a dream. It gave me the time I needed to get into a nice heat cycle, sort to repair the damage that I've received during transit, so they've all joined up with the tubs as you've seen previously. This is now actually home to all of my rejected new forest koi fire. Um, but what I'm showing you now is, is this has been up for 
eight to ten weeks. Pipe still is not glued. I don't have any problems with it coming loose. I have checked it to make sure it's not moving, so I have got away with that. Just sometimes depends on how good the fitting of your pipe is. I wouldn't recommend you don't glue your pipes because you are just heading for a, a, a disaster at some point. But yeah, I just wanted to show, obviously I know Easy Pods aren't cheap. I picked that one on second hand. I picked up everything here is obviously second hand. So you look at the IBC, I paid £35 for the IBC. The uh, the bin was just under £20, so the Alpha Grog, but one bag of that, that'll cost you about £14-£15. The pump I bought was a Orcon Solutions pump, second hand, paid 30 quid for that. Um, and then obviously it's your ancillary as your pipe work. So in this grand scheme of things, when you talk about this hobby, not massively expensive. I would say this doesn't need to be a pod. My original plan, what I was going to do, was actually use this, um, this, this sort of design, but use a my Fluvo FX4 filter um, but I've started using that for other stuff again so that's not as, as free as it was it's just easier to use and move than the easy pod and to clean and as terms of mechanical it sucks an awful lot of crap out so this amount of water is fine these are a thousand litres they're rating it to like two and a half in FX6 so and all you do is you take the water out into your FX and then dump it into the top of that so it acts like a shower <clears throat> it doesn't have to be expensive or, or fancy to get this stuff working I mean this as I said is a QT and hospital tank um, at the moment it's just growing on some little fry that I can't bring myself to get rid of and actually there's a couple of ones in that have turned out better than I thought they would so they're, they're slowly coming back out that's why that one's in the tank up the garage but yeah it doesn't have to be expensive guys as I said you can hash anything with this sort of thing it's not something you're going to have in your garden to look at sit by and eat your dinner with it just needs to perform the function that you need it to it's got an air pump filter on it uh, an air pump filter I think talking about an aquarium air pump on it as well so it's not got a mental air pump i did have ozone running this for quite a while i've now removed that i'm going to use it for something else we're not tested with it but yeah that is it guys nice and easy i've even left the frog in the bag that's all getting good, good coverage so that does the mechanical that does my bio and then when i clean that i don't lose all my, my bio so yeah that makes a big difference it makes a big difference no ammonia on nitrate box um, so that means you can start giving your PTs a bit of food as well, which I think is quite important to build them up and get them into that feeding habit before you move them into their home. So that's it guys, there we go. There you go guys, so that's my QT. Um, I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you found it interesting. Um, like I said, I'll be back very shortly with food update because actually I've nearly already used all of the Pro Bites on the left tub. This is the right tub you're looking at at the moment, the Saki tub all doing absolutely extremely well really pleased what's going on i have got to try and work out some sort of light filter i think so i can video these properly for the youtube um, but this is all i've got at the moment saragoy is doing turning into a monster absolute monster although the color food is making it look more like an achiever you can see the achiever lineage in it but yeah as ever guys thanks for watching thanks for your support oh you have a cracking week do give us a like do subscribe and I will catch you all very soon. Bye-bye.